Welcome back everyone to another night of astrophotography here. I am super stoked because tonight I'm shooting one of my favorite objects in the entire summer sky, which is the Cygnus Wall, which is one of the most amazing parts of the North American Nebula, and is actually the brightest part as well. I've been working on this project for the past couple nights. I've been slowly gathering data. I haven't been able to gather much useful data from forest fire smoke and things like that. It's just really been preventing me from just getting this project kind of done and over with. So I don't have much integration time yet, although it's looking absolutely incredible so far. So I hope to maybe finish up tonight as the forest fire smoke. It seems to be kind of clearing off throughout the day, so I'm hoping tonight is gonna be pretty clear without much haze from the smoke. The weather has been absolutely amazing these past couple of days, and the only disappointing part about it is just the smoke that is filling the skies is getting really old and has actually cost me a few clear nights of imaging that I could have used to actually finish this project up, which I couldn't have because the smoke was just too thick to really get much useful data at all. So I'm hoping to get some nice useful data tonight because I want to finish this project so I can actually move on to uh, stuff like the Milky Way core. Alright, so the setup we have here tonight is the Skywatcher Quattro 150P, we have the ASI 585 and the SIM26 as the mount, and then for our guide setup we have the ASI 120M Mini and the SV Boney 30mm guide scope, all being controlled by the nice and handy ASI Air Plus. Sunset is finally here, so it's going to be getting dark here very soon, and I'm going to get polar lined as soon as I can and focused and collimated to make sure I have peak sharpness and also round stars across the entire field. I want to make sure my telescope mirrors are properly aligned and shooting straight into the camera sensor without any off-centering to make sure the light is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. That's the only downside to Newtonians and stuff like this is as a beginner, uh, learning to do the collimation stuff can sometimes be kind of pretty difficult. Once you get it down though, um, I've heard this before, it's kind of like riding a bicycle where once you learn how, you don't even really know where the problem is and that is what it's like. But it is also kind of an inconvenience still uh, if you're getting set up late and you were like, oh I forgot to collimate or something, then it can be pretty annoying and then you look at your subs and you realize your stars are off and you gotta go outside and try to collimate. That can get pretty annoying. Uh, but you get used to it after a while and night is here. So here is the rig. We're about to get everything set up and going About to open up the ASI Air app. I'm gonna get the ASI Air actually turned on real quick Everything. Uh, Cygnus still has a little bit until it rises like good enough to like shoot the North American Nebula Scorpius is already rising, which is really cool. I love just seeing all the summer stuff I love being able to just control everything via your smartphone using the ASI Air. I mean, look, I can just take an exposure and real quickly it'll come shoot through and show me that exposure. So we can see, uh, we probably need to do a little bit more of focusing. Well, boom, there we are. We look pretty focused already, but we probably need a bit more uh, focus because we're probably a little bit out just from the rig sitting idle for a while. Let's get all that taken care of and then we'll polar align with the polar alignment menu, which is PA which is super cool, uh, so we'll get to that in momentarily. Okay, we got good in focus now. So now we're just going to go into the sky atlas here, and then we're going to point our telescope right towards the North American Nebula, which is pretty good. And now our telescope is going to point there. As you can see, it is now moving towards Cygnus. And we'll be up in imaging in no time. It was a perfectly clear night, and I finished up with 10 hours of broadband data and over one hour of HA data. And I think this is one of the best images I have shared on this channel. Okay.